In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to just make this. Just a basic room, nothing too difficult, just somewhere to get you started. So first off, I'm going to show you where to download and install the tools required to create Portal 2 maps. If you already have Hammer installed, then just click here to skip ahead. So if you don't, open up Steam to the library and click where it says All Games. Go down to Tools and look for Portal 2 Authoring Tools Beta. So double click that and install it. Then wait for it to finish downloading and installing. Once it's done installing, open it, and you should get something that looks like this. So what you want to do is click, double click, Hammer World Editor, and now you should have something that looks like this. So go up to File, and click New. So now you should have something that looks like this. And first off, before we get started, you should save it. So file save as and name whatever your map to be called. So I'm gonna name mine Tut Example. So now to get started we're gonna use the we're gonna create a block. So you use the block creation tool over here. And in the top right window here, you want to click anywhere and then drag, release, and then hit enter. So now you can see in each window, you can see that block. So in this top right window here, this is the top view of your map. This one down here is the right side view. This one over here is the front view. And then this one's the texture shaded view. And to make sure that it is the texture shaded, right here I click camera and go down to 3D shaded texture polygons so now to con control this window here what you want to do is hit Z or Z and now you can look around using the mouse and then use W, A, S and D to move around and now you can see that block we just created and now hit Z again to get out of that so now up here use the selection tool and now you can move this block around what we want to do is use these little squares here to resize it in this top right window here we want to resize it to 512 by 512 and in one of the, either one of these side views we want to resize it to 512 by 448 and that one so now if you go back up to your texture view, if you go inside this block, you can see it's not hollow, you can see through it from the inside. So what you want to do is select that, and then go up to Tools, and Make Hollow. And then 32 is the default number, we're just going to leave it at that for this, and hit OK. And now if you go into side of it, you can see it's hollow. But if you select it, it selects the whole thing as one group, and we don't want that. So what you want to do is go up to Tools and go Ungroup, or you can also do Control U. So now if you select, you can see each side is its own piece. So now, you may notice that these textures look pretty ugly, and you may want to put your own textures in. So what you want to do is select one of the walls, and go over to here where it says Browse, and now search for a texture that you want. Here's what I'm going to use. So once you found a texture that you like, double click it, and then go over to here and click Apply Current Texture to Selection. And now you'll see that it applied it. So what we want to do is do that for these other three walls. So what you can do is click one wall, and then hold Control and click the other two walls. And now over here you can still see the texture you selected is still there, so you can just click that apply texture again. 
So now you want to do the same thing, but with the ceiling and the floor. Here's what I use for the ceiling and the floor. So now you may notice the textures don't really line up very well. So what you can do is select the textures you want to edit and then go over here and select the texture application tool. And in here you can change the scale and shift it. So for my example here, I'm only going to shift it 127 on the x-axis and 127 on the y-axis and then click apply and then I'm going to do the same thing for the floor and the ceiling so now you can see the textures are lining up a lot better than they were so now we have a base for the map so now all we need to do is set a spawn point so what you want to do is click the entity creation tool over here and down here under objects it should say info underscore player and underscore start if it doesn't then make sure you type it in and then once you have that click anywhere on the floor and you'll see a figure appear what you want to do is switch over to the selection tool and use either the top view or one of the side views to move him wherever you want the player to spawn. For my example I'm just going to make him start right in the center of the map. Now if you were to play this map you would not start with a portal gun. So what we have to do is give the player a portal gun. There are many ways to do this but the easiest way is just to put one right where he spawns. So use the entity tool again and this time go down to objects and type in weapon port underscore portal gun and then click anywhere on the floor and now you can see that that's the portal gun there so what you want to do is move that so that as soon as the player spawns they're touching that Now this map is completely playable but you may want to put in the light so your map isn't set to full bright so once again use the entity tool but this time type in light and click anywhere on the floor and now move your light wherever you want your light so I'm going to put mine right in the center of the room and raise it off the floor a bit. So now you're done with the creating part of your map, so all you have to do is run it and test it. And to do that, go up to File, Run Map, or hit F9. So all this you can just leave to the default setting, and then usually sometimes you can change these. If you want it to run the game as soon as it's done compiling, then leave this unchecked. And if there's an error, but you can't read it because it goes too fast, make sure you check this. And then hit OK. So now that you're in the game, I'm going to show you how to run your map. First of all, you're going to have to turn on the developer console. And to do that, go into options, keyboard slash mouse settings, and then right here, allow developer console, and you want to make sure that's enabled and then go done and go back so now hit the tilde key which is usually right below the escape or to the left of the number one key and then type in map and then the name of your map for my example it's tut example and then hit enter now you should you should be in your map right now so uh, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or if you had any problems with this tutorial, please leave a comment and I'll see if I can help you.